So we headed to St. Louis, Missouri to work with Chris Berry of the Brooksbury firm, who had one of her designs win an award from the National Kitchen and Bath Association. So Chris, when your customers first come in here, this is, this is where you start in the vignette area, right? It is. It's a great way to start discussing the function and how the kitchen can work for you. What would you say are some of the areas that you might want to look at in terms of, uh, here's something you might want to use for a functional item. Well, a, a, an item like a prep sink in an island is really a neat way to encourage others to come into the kitchen and help. We've got the prep sink right across from my beautiful big stove. That's quite the stove. Yes, this is, a, this is the Rolls Royce of cooking yeah. equipment. And when you have something like this in a kitchen, the rest of the kitchen is subordinate to this. And function-wise, it's really convenient to, uh, to put together a meal. Now I see it's located right next to the dishwasher here. Yes, what we like to do is keep the dishwashers right next to the sink so that you can continuously put things in here. And the door on this thing is great. I mean, it looks like you have a, a drawer coming across the top with two doors on the bottom. Uh -huh. We like to do a lot of this so that the function is there, but aesthetically it keeps a really pleasing looking kitchen. It doesn't look cluttered. The other thing that we really want to talk about is the function of the kitchen and the cooktop is one of the things that is going to drive the size of the space. Here we've separated it from wall ovens mm -hmm. and so what you have down below here is storage for pots and pans. Oh that's great. And we've also hidden over here a recessed paper towel holder. Oh, you wouldn't even that. know it was there but it gets it out of sight. Yeah I've n never seen one like that before. We put refrigeration drawers here. Oh, sure. A great addition to someone who really likes to cook. Can't even tell the refrigerators. I mean, they're just so integrated. It's, it's all put yeah. together. And then here we've addressed spice storage. Another thing that we're doing a lot of in kitchens are islands. This one we've designed so that it's got a prep sink in it. Mm -hmm. But the tricky thing is, is we've kept the bottom all open. The plumbing and the electric run down through these hollow legs in the oh, sure. table itself. Yeah, because normally they'll just drop right down underneath the sink. And it would be unsightly so, to yeah. see that open in the bottom. That wouldn't look so good. We're doing a lot of drawers that are designed for kids so that they're not climbing and hurting themselves in upper cabinets. Really makes sense. We also do pull-outs like these for knives and for your steel and a cutting board. That is normally just wasted space. We like to use every space yeah. so that the whole kitchen functions. And then here we have this large hearth hood with the recessed pot filler faucet back here. It's part of just picking and choosing what's yep. going to work in your space. And then in this kitchen, we've decided to put this cabinet in here. So rather than having all the cabinetry lined up and looking the same, sure. it's what we call an unfit look. Okay, so it looks like here we have a double oven and a cooktop combination. Yeah, double ovens are wonderful for people who like to do a lot of baking or cooking. Then over here, we put in a pot filler faucet. You know, Dean, this might work really well for your home time project because this pot filler comes through the countertop and it can push off to the side and you have a little extra space. Yeah, we have, these are fairly deep cabinets yes, at this they point. Are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. they are. Down here, I want to show you what happens when you have two things to open in order to get to your rollout shelf. It's not nearly as convenient as just having a drawer. And what's this guy over here? That guy is a mixer lift and that pops up so? and so it, you don't have to actually lift it. We put a receptacle in the bottom and then you just put it away when you're finished with oh, it. Oh, that's, that's a handy deal. And I know a lot of people uh, might look at this as just being a hutch, but I remember last time when I was in here, this is actually a refrigerator. Nobody would probably guess that, but yeah. Uh, that's, that's the focal point so, of this so whole hidden. kitchen. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely a beautiful piece. So what are you trying to demonstrate in this space? This is an accessible kitchen. We do a moderate okay. amount of these for people who are uh, of limited mobility. We have an oven that the door hinges to the side instead of dropping down. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have a cooktop with all the burners in the front and the controls in the front, a minimalist hood. Then we've also got a faucet over here that's easy for someone, again, who's down uh, to be able to reach. And different countertops, mm -hmm. looks like in here too. We have soapstone here that's wonderful with uh, chemicals. And over here we have concrete. Concrete, yep. So what's going on with that floor? <laughs> this is just a little of my design humor. It's supposed to look like an archaeological dig with the rope lines and the inlaid mosaics down there. Kind of visions of Pompeii a little bit. Yes, you know? <laughs> that's right. This display has a, a two-tier island that we put in here. We put drawers down below again oh, for yeah. storage. We also have wall ovens and mm -hmm. then our pull-out pantry over here. Oh yeah, oh those are great. Then down here in the corner, 
we like to do this alternative to a lazy Susan we call a magic corner. Oh, it puts squares in a square shape rather than a circle where you have a lot of loss. And we can still use this other frontage to design whatever we want for the function of it. So what stage in the design process you start to settle on the style of door you're going to be using? <laughs> That's a tough question. We like to say that the cabinetry in the kitchen is best looking if it keys off the architecture of the home. But it comes down to what do you like? What, what feels good to you? Think of cabinetry as being like the furniture that you're going to live with for the next 30 or 40 years. This is permanent furniture in your home. Oh, definitely. So you yeah. have to like what you're seeing when you come in.